Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, or OFDM, is a multi-carrier transmission technique where a data stream is carried with many lower rate subcarrier tones. In optical communication systems, OFDM has received increased attention as a means to overcome various limitations of optical transmission systems. A generic co-OFDM system includes five basic functional blocks. OFDM transmitter, RF to optical up converter, optical link, optical to RF down converter, and OFDM receiver. The input data is generated by a pseudo-random bit sequence at 10 gigabits per second. To access the global parameters, we can double-click anywhere on the layout, where you can define global parameters such as the bit rate and bit sequence. In this example, we are using QAM modulation format. However, you can also use other formats such as BPSK or QPSK. The signal is processed by an OFDM modulator, where we've set our number of subcarriers to 512 and number of FFT points to 1024. Here we are not using a cyclic prefix, however, you can add symbol extension or zero values. Now we go over to our optical up converter. Here you can see we have a parallel structure with in-phase and quadrature modulation using a CW laser and two mock sender modulators. Now we come to our optical link. The number of loops can be configurable if you want to increase the propagation length of the optical fiber. If we go into our single mode fiber, we can set the length, attenuation, choose which dispersion parameters we'd like to set, along with any nonlinear parameters. Our signal then propagates to our RF down converter using coherent detection. We can go to the subsystem and right click, select look inside where we can observe a homodyne detection scheme set up with balanced photo detection. Coherent Optical OFDM, or CoOFDM, combines the advantages of coherent detection and OFDM modulation, and possesses many merits that are critical for future high-speed fiber transmission systems. The signal then propagates into the OFDM demodulator, which is using the same parameters as our OFDM modulator and gets decoded. The data is then read by the BER analyzer for bit error rate measurement. Let's now start the simulation. To simulate the system, simply hit the Run button. After the system is finished simulating, you can double-click the Constellation Visualizer to see our 4QAM input signal. We can now open up our project browser to view the subcarrier configuration of the OFDM signal. After the RF to optical up conversion, we can view the spectrum and time domain information of the optical signal. Let's take a look at the OSA. We can also look at the spectrum after propagation. Let's jump over to the constellation diagram after demodulation resulting from the calculations. OptiSystem allows us to configure the number of loops to increase the propagation length. Now let's take a look at the constellation diagrams for 3 loops, 4 loops, and 5 loops representing 180, 240, and 300 kilometers. As the propagation length increases, we can see the increased deviation in the constellation pattern. Ultimately, this allows us to analyze the system performance based on the propagation impairments.